Hi Virgo, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. This is a weekly reading, so it will run from October 7th through the, t through the 13th, 2019. It is a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Virgo who views the video. But if it does resonate with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Okay, thank you to those who already do so. Let's jump into it, Virgo. I have shuffled and prayed over the cards off camera for the sake of time. So, Virgo, how you come into the week is the Prince of Cups. Nice. Offering love. Ready for love. Stability. Falling in love. A fulfilling emotional life. Being in love with love. Okay. Uh, the challenge is the Queen of Swords in reverse. Ooh. There might be someone closed off to you. Someone being very cold, bitchy, uh, discontent, out of order. They don't want to hear anything you have to say. They don't care about your opinion. They don't care about how you feel. Um, they're not being objective. They just see their way and nothing else. Jaded. Uh, feeling like... The, the need to rise above um, this could be a person who is not telling the truth also a liar the advice of the cards is the will of fortune the ten of pentacles wow um there's some really good money here for you uh or there's a really good family dynamic here there's some long-term goal fulfillment here that you need to be focused on and focused with uh, this could be you. This is your energy with the pinnacles. The sun here says that there is some uh, fulfillment here. And there's some positivity here. The challenge may be either someone else or this is you. But the advice is to rest in knowing that um, this is a will of fortune. That's not the sun. That there is fulfillment here that the will is turning your your fortune is changing it's shifting you may be on the upswing now you were possibly in the downswing it's about seeing things objectively either for you or someone around you uh, this is masculine energy this is also this talks about timing perfect timing it talks about the culmination of there's really good things happening for you uh, you're solid you're stable there could be, uh, it could be in your family, a family business, or this could just be you establishing a family. The outcome here, if wow, is the Ace of Pentacles, the establishment of business. The advice is to let you know that you are here, you are abundant. There is abundance here for you in some avenue, in some arena. Do know that luck is on your side, but you don't control luck. But do know it's here with you. The wheel is turning. Um, maybe this is you needing to come out of that funk. Maybe coming out of negativity. Out of um, the nine of swords at the bottom of the deck. Coming out of thinking negatively about situations. Uh, sabotage. Self-fulfilling prophecies. Negative. Self-fulfilling prophecies coming to pass by way of your thought process. Being anxious. Being... Uh, high strong or stressed do know that that goodness that happiness that maybe even engagement or going to the next level in something even in business and in home and establishing yourself is here for you is here for the taking um, there's no need to worry at the bottom of the angel answers card and I think that's what they want to relate to you that there's no need to worry Things are turning out well for you. If you want to become pregnant, it's here for you. If you want to establish a new business, it's here for you. If you want to know if it's going to go well, if this job is going to go well, if if your fortune is changing, yes. But you have to change with it. There's something better. Do know that. And it's here for you. Don't get too hung up on something or someone that is not acting better. Let's see what the shells have to say for you. Ooh, it says run, leave. <laughs> and 
that could be for some of you and then we have marriage wow run leave a marriage oh, this maybe because there's something better and there's no need to worry maybe you're worried about what others will say maybe you're worried about will you be able to reestablish yourself will you have money will you have a career will you still be able to take care of yourself your family the answer is yes spiritual there's something going on in the spiritual realm for for you or maybe about you uh, around you spiritually um, inclined here with the princess with the princess cups here too hard we've got hard so I don't know something is hard it's hard for you to run to leave a marriage maybe there it was spiritual or there's some spiritual connection here and it's hard for you to do so but the cards are telling you that maybe there's happiness contentment elsewhere there might be separation from someone that you're wanting to be with maybe an air sign you're needing to this could be an air sign in love with you um, this is Aquarius in love uh, but there's someone who is closed off to the idea because they're already in a marriage but there can be a reconnection or a, a reestablishment of something new here something new and foundational so it says run leave marriage spiritual and hard uh, good luck here Virgo is just a week um, I hope you get through this um, do know that I'm praying for you pray for me as well if you feel like you need a personal reading go over to the website and book there make sure you use coupon code 10 off 35 at the website level click that apply button once you type in the coupon code and see the discount populate all right Virgo know that I'm praying for you pray for me as well take care bye